Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to 10 Minute Tutorials. Today we are doing DNS interrogation. This is a skill set that I think people are losing because they think that OSINT substitutes for this and it does not. This is something you need to do because what happens a lot is people do some OSINT or they go onto sites now because there's a lot of tools out there that do a lot of um, this for you, but what they're doing is they're caching this. So what I mean by that is they might take the DNS interrogation from two years ago and give you the results. Well, DNS changes all the time. If you get a new server, if you get rid of servers, et cetera, et cetera. So I think this is a skill set that you need to be able to do yourself. And this is a very basic beginner skill set that is needed everywhere. So without further ado, guys, go ahead and hit that sub button, hit that like button. Thank you guys so much for everything. We are at like 2.25 K subs. That blew me away because I wanted to get to 2K by the end of the year, and you guys just absolutely crushed that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's keep this train going, and let's keep growing the channel and keep getting better skills, all of us getting better, progressing our careers, progressing our education, and just building up the cybersecurity career while trying to defend against real hackers, right? All right, so, or malicious hackers, I should say, attackers, not hackers. Keep that difference. All right. So first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to use tryhackme.com. You can see I did a who is on tryhackme.com. Now this should be where you start. This is going to give us a lot of information, right? We have the domain name. We have the, that uh, made my face all messed up. Uh, we have the domain name. We have the ID, blah, 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 all that. But the thing we're looking for here is we have the name servers. Okay. So we're just going to use this first one. We're going to copy it. So the name server, this is what they're using for their um, DNS server, right? So all we have to do now is we just have to say dig. It threw me off that there's three down there, but okay. So we have to say dig and we're going to say at, if I could find the at sign, there we go. And we're just going to put that name server because that's where we want it. Now we want the A records um, and you'll see we're going to change the records of what kind we want, but we want the A records. And then we're just going to say we want them at tryhackme.com. So the way this breaks down, if you guys can see, dig is going to request it, right? It's going to go, request it from this name ser DNS server. It wants an A record, any of the A record with tryhackme.com. Okay. So we hit enter and you can see we get three. Okay. That's pretty good. We get three different sites here or three different IPs here that are tryhackme.com according to their DNS records. So that's good. We've already got three targets, right? We've done 10 minutes of work, not even 10 seconds of work, three targets. We're flying through this, right? So now... Let's do the same thing. This time, I'm just going to show you guys a trick. You don't have to do this, but um, if you just do plus short, it's just going to give us just the names. It's not going to give us all this other information. You don't have to. It's just less verbose. Um, so now we're going to change this A record to an MX record, which is a mail exchange record. So this is going to give us their mail exchange servers. So you can see here, we have one, two, three, four, five. So now we have five, six, seven, eight, eight targets. I mean, that was a matter of what? 20 seconds and we have eight targets. So now, now that we have these records, um, we can start targeting these and start doing enumeration on these, right? So this is just gathering information and these targets may have already been something that you've already gathered during your OSINT, um, operations and that's fine. But this is, if not, you may have gotten a new target or maybe two targets or whatever. So now let's go ahead and what we're going to do, and this is where it gets really fun is we're going to start doing manual investigation. So what I mean by that is we change this back to a now there's, this is just manual. I'm going to show you the manual and the automation. Okay. So let's say we want to do admin dot try right now. Why would they do this? Most sites have an admin page or whatever. Most domains have these type of things, right? So these top level domains are designed this way. So we're going to go ahead and say, maybe let's try, give, give me the records for admin.tryhackme.com. We hit enter and look at that. We've got three different servers. Now you can see that these three different servers are the same here. That's fine. That's good to know. Right. But then we could go and we could say, okay, what about login? Okay. There's no login.tryhackme.com. Okay, cool. So you can see how we can start to enumerate and gather information on this. Sorry, my back itches. All right. So now we're going to do the automated method. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to use Nmap here and Nmap, you can use Nmap with whatever word list you want. Um, you can create your own. If you, I'm going to create another video on how to create your own word list, um, for sites and stuff because the previous one I did is good, but it's for passwords. This is going to be more for, um, 
you know, this type of, of uh, situation. So what we're going to do is we're going to say sudo. So you always want to run nmap as sudo. Just keep that in mind. We're going to say sudo nmap, and we're just going to say DNS, and then we're going to say server, and then we want, what's our DNS server? So we've got the kit.ns cloudflare, okay? And then we're going to say script DNS brute, and then script arguments. So this is just in maps basic syntax. You have to specify what script you want it to run. Then you have to specify the arguments you want it to run. And we're going to say the arguments we want is DNS brute dot domain. If I can spell dot domain. And the answer is, or e it equals, excuse me, that, whoops, not that domain, tryhackme.com's domain. So what we're doing here, pretty simple. We're saying, okay, run nmap, run it on this DNS server with the script DNS brute force. And then the arguments we have here is the DNS brute force domain is tryhackme.com. Now, one thing to keep in mind here is this is going to use a default word list that it has, okay, to brute force this. You can do this yourself. You can specify the um, word list you want. You can create your own word list, however you want to do it, but this is the default one. So we hit enter here, and you see it's running just like if you've ever used a map. Now look at what we've got. So now you're looking, and we've got, okay, so before we did admin, and we only got these three. Now we have six. We have blog. We have www. We have help. So now we're gathering even more, okay? So now let's say, now I'm assuming TryHackMe has their DNS segregated, meaning they have an external and an internal. Um, let's say they didn't, right? Well, let's say we wanted to try this, and I'll show you what I mean. So we could create a word list doing this, but let's say we wanted to try this. Instead of the login, maybe we know, maybe we found one of their servers, and their server name was... Um, THM DC01. Well, we know that's probably a domain controller, right? So what we can say is, okay, well, give me anything with THM DC at tryhackme.com, right? Because that's going to be at their domain. Now, this is just an example. I'm not um, doing this because I don't want to gather internal resources from tryhackme. That is not something I don't have permission to do and I don't want to do. So, but I'm showing you an example. Now, do I know? I don't think that their naming convention is this, and I wouldn't guess that. So, but my point is, you can try and figure out. You can say, okay, we found one server and it was named THMDC01. Well, it's a pretty good guess that we can start creating a word list with THMDC02, THMDC03, right? And so on and so forth. And then, okay, if we know that they use the naming convention THMDC01 for their domain controllers, it's probably a good guess for their name servers, they use THMNS01, okay? For their file servers, it might be FS01 or FTP01. For their SSH servers, it might be SSH01, um, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, you could just create a list of thousands of common names and you can use the same cool program that we used in the previous videos to create this word list by simply putting thm and then having it put whatever you want in between and like 01 whatever dc01 dc you know it can do that for you cool can so you can automate this process quite a bit um but the biggest thing is look at how we started this we started this investigation with nothing except for tryhackme.com. That's all we had. And now we have all these targets plus all the targets up here if they I didn't look to see if they all match up. We have all their mail exchange servers. We have now most of their stuff you can tell is cloud based and that's fine. But you're not going to find that everywhere. So you're going to find internal stuff, you're going to find these things. Just keep in mind that this can be a gray area and it can get you in trouble if you don't know what you're doing and you start trying to pull information from um, an internal DNS server, it's going to raise a lot of red flags, okay? So keep that in mind. Hopefully you guys like this. DNS interrogation is super, super, super important, and I think people forget it. I think people don't mess with it enough, and I think you should start up your own DNS server, put up a bunch of, it's super simple to do, um, put up a bunch of random, you know, um, text records, A records, MX records, whatever you want, 
and just make it look, you know, use a naming convention, etc. And then start interrogating it and see what you can find because you'll be very amazed at how you can gather entire domains, um, were, or entire domains, host lists, servers, everything from a misconfigured DNS where they allow you to pull this data. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys are having a great day and have a great holiday. Um, and hopefully you guys have a good new year. Hopefully I'll see you guys in the next year and we'll have, instead of 2,200 subs or whatever, we'll have 10,000. Hopefully we can just keep skyrocketing guys. So thank you guys so much. Thank you guys for the support. Thank you for watching and hopefully you guys are learning something. Thanks.